Hey guys, it's Kyle Kamino. We are here today in beautiful Colorado Springs, Colorado, going over the installation of a double wide manufactured home. This is a Skyline home. It's built in Arkansas City, Kansas. It shipped about 500 miles to get here. What we're doing is we're getting ready to pull both halves together. We'll video that for you in a second. Uh, let's go over the foundation system that this home is sitting on. This is sitting on what's considered a non-permanent foundation system. Now it can permanently set here, but it's considered non-permanent. It's an ABS pad system. This is a 24 inch by 24 inch plastic ABS pad. This goes directly on the ground. On top of that goes your block, and then on top of your block goes your shims, depending on how he needs to level the home. And then on top of that goes your steel I-beam, the actual home itself. Uh, let's take a closer look. In Colorado, it's state code to have a vapor barrier between your ABS pad, which sits directly on the ground, and your block. Okay, so this goes underneath the entire home, this vapor barrier. All right, block sits on top of that, your shim, and then your I beam, the actual steel that's uh, the bottom of the home. Okay. Uh, let's take a look at the tires and axles. All our homes come with the tires and axles. Depending on what the installer wants to do, he might hang on to them, he might leave them. In this case, the axles are gonna stay with this home. This home's gonna sit here for a couple of years, so the tires are gonna go. It doesn't make sense to leave them under there and just let them dry rot. Uh, let's take a look at this right here. Okay, so this thing shipped about 500 miles. We had a blowout as it was going down the road. There was an axle right here. There's a blowout. The tire, can you see that? ripped up some of this insulation. This is typical, all right? The installer is gonna patch this. He's gonna put new insulation in there and patch it. This is something not to be too worried about. When that happens, it's very typical. This is a home ship really far and things happen, but the installer will handle that for you, okay? Now, this is a smart panel, hardy board type side, uh, sided home. So if it was vinyl, these end walls would be bare and the vinyl would be put totally across to make a seamless connection once both halves come together. Since it's smart panel, there's already the siding in place. All that needs done is this eight inch piece of trim goes vertically along the marriage line to make it look seamless, okay? Let's uh, take a step in between the halves. So as you can see here, we're getting ready to pull this half to this half, all right? So this half of the home is already set. This half is gonna be pulled up next to it and then set. Um, if you take a look here, it's sitting on a system. Every installer is gonna do this a little bit differently uh, depending on what kind of equipment they have. But typically, you're gonna use a roller system directly on the ground. The home's fully jacked up. The tires are removed. It's in the air suspended and he'll literally push it across. He's gotta come along here. He's gonna jack that and it's gonna pull this half to that half of the home, okay? Let's, uh, let's jump inside the home and take a closer look at how the home looks when it arrives, all right? So the home's gonna come with your shingles, your siding, extra pieces of drywall, if it's a drywall home, which in this case it is. It's gonna come with additional light fixtures, um, your ductwork, which crosses over between each of the halves. Once the halves are put together, he'll put ductwork from this half to this half, all right? So he's gonna connect that as well. That's all part of what the installer does. Uh, Let's jump in the kitchen and take a closer look at how that looks. All right. Here's our cameraman for you. <laughs> so the home, uh, everything's going to be secured uh, while, while it's shipping. This home, again, came about 500 miles and we're totally good. The doors aren't going to open. Those are strapped shut. Everything is safe and secure during transport. Here we've got a door. They just stored this in the kitchen. Uh, when both halves come together, they're going to put this door in place. So this is something that they just have laying here for the time being. Um, and now we are in the utility room of this floor plan. This customer got the washer and dryer. Here you can see the factory put some padding between the appliance and the wall just for some additional, you know, don't want to scratch it up. And then here, here's the data sheet. The data sheet of the home, this explains the wind zone the roof load and the thermal zone of where your home is going, okay? This is something the county's gonna wanna see um, during their final inspection to make sure, yes, this home meets code. Now, uh, if you don't know the wind zone, thermal zone, uh, wind load even of, the, of your home, of, of your county, just give Home Nation a call. We'll be able to help you out with that. 